so uh, tonight should be more interesting than usual. Is that SB coming tonight? I hope so. I do too. Yeah. I I don't I don't think she knows that all this is going down. We need uh, Mavi to do her dance. Oh, and tell us, it's Ethan Head! This is me. How many people does it take to the Shelby Ready Show? Three. Wonderful. Stay right there. Ah, uh, this is my room. This is my friend. Stuff like that. What's your cat's name? My name is. Daddy, do you have my keys? Love you. Oh, my. Hugs. Three and a half years ago, I met Shelby for the first time at her 16th birthday party. Have a great day at school, kids. Love Bye. you. She's a very intelligent girl. Oh, no, I'm not That has total physical care needs. Now, um, right now, I'm attending St. Peter's College, the letter campus, which is about. Ten minutes from my house. Will you keep up, lady? Shelby also happens to need a new personal care assistant. Okay, excellent. It was very weird at first to get paid for things that I already did <laughs> as a friend. Uh, we need to make a bathroom stop and then we can send somebody to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, in the spring of 2011, I will be transferring to USF to Tampa campus to major in and <laughs> She uses the Kurzweil all the time now when it comes to, you know, she's got 32 pages of a psychology chapter to read by tomorrow. Kurzweil, well, I couldn't survive college without it. <laughs> I remember when Shelby was in second grade and they were writing the, you know, the 10 words off the blackboard. Well, Shelby was struggling to shape, to form an S. And I could just see that the academic bus was leaving and she wasn't going to be on it. Ladies, you're breaking. With all the different things we have to do, you got to have a sense of humor about it. You're mean. <laughs> so early, it was the edutainment software, but the big issue was access. And that's where IntelliTools came in. My earliest memory was IntelliTools. Is I was sitting in my preschool class and I was playing some kind of game, and I had to hit read to make it go, red to make it stop. So half of the layover was green to go, and the other half was red, because I needed a target that big. She had very, very uh, limited fine motor skills, and being able to use the IntelliKeys to be able to make overlays and to be able to just even to make simple yes-no answers really helped build the foundation so that when she got into you know kindergarten and first grade and started working on math and IntelliMath came in, it just opened up the doors. There was never a question of Shelby can't do this so she doesn't have to. It was always, okay, Shelby may not be able to do it this way, so let's figure out a way she can do it. The big issue was that the demands academically were getting greater and greater and the amount of reading that was necessary and the fact that she needed to fill out the answer sheets and to do all these types of things. Uh, Kurzweil really lent itself very well to that. She'll be nurse? La, la, boda. La, la, boda. La, boda. Just like any normal college student, I spend about on a good week maybe eight to ten hours of reading. When it comes to reading, she's good for three or four paragraphs and then the nystagmus and the forbiddenness kick in and the visual fatigue just overwhelms her. Kurzweil is a text-to-speech program that allows any written material to be read out loud. A highlighted definition looked up and all kinds of different very unique study skills. Kurzweil created a comfort level to be able to be in a literate world of, of Facebook and tweeting and, and emails. And in the cloud, nobody knows what your disabilities are. I'm not going to sit here and say that there's on days that it's kind of a pain. I mean, in, in my family, we have 
a saying that at the end of the day, CP sucks. I wanted her strengths to be cultivated. I wanted her intelligence to be something that she could utilize. You know, my dreams for her future are already coming true. Good job, ladies. You know, I obviously would like a job. Um, eventually, I would like to get married, have a couple of kids, and just kind of live, um, you know, a typical American lifestyle and, um, you know, be happy and fulfilled. Thank you.